years ago, I released a video discussing whether CGI was better than 2D animation, and with this week's video I'd like to return to a familiar topic. The most common argument when discussing traditional and digital art is that traditional has the advantage of being physical and tangible, whereas digital arguably, is a fabrication or simulation of traditional art using numerical codes and programs, not to mention it has the advantage of the control z function, better known as the undo command. We know that locked up in the Disney ARL or animation research library are collections of sketches, drawings, paintings and original cells of traditional animated movie shorts and feature length movies from the 1930s onwards and are preserved but sadly due to age are slowly falling apart. However, it is still a comfort to know that these exist. These are historic treasures and are still used as sources of inspiration and research to inspire the artists and animators of films today, might they be 2D or 3D. The process may have changed over the years due to the animation industry being a merge of art and technology, but no matter how many advancements are made, nothing will ever replace the act of putting a pen to paper or a paintbrush to canvas. For some reason, however, technology in the art industry is still seen as some sort of cheating apparatus instead of another medium. Much like how the early photo cameras were treated, computers have been referred to as an artist's convenience rather than a vital piece of equipment to keep up with the competition met in the art industry today, regardless of whether you work traditionally or digitally. It has also been argued that digital art is easier and requires less skill, and depending on your outlook that will either make it better or worse to you. For anyone who does digital art, the process that goes into the creation is the same as traditional, except it is faster, cuts out all the mess, and is of course more cost effective in the long run. It is by no means easier, but it certainly is quicker. But this also causes another major problem when it comes to selling digital art. Because no traditional art materials are used, it is considered less valuable and therefore not respected as much as traditional. Why should someone pay you for something that you made on a computer? Spoken from experience. A piece of art, no matter how pristine and perfect it may be presented, if it is digital, expect a lot of backlash and refusals due to the snobbery of many gallery owners and art critics. I personally feel that it is ridiculous that traditional art and digital art are still segmented in the market in this day and age, especially since the process of the two have been merged since the late 80s and early 90s. Digital art is an artistic work or practice that uses digital technology as an essential part of the creative or presentation process, and for some reason, when it comes to comparing the two, digital and traditional, some have argued that the creative process is completely cut out when you use digital technology to create artwork which is of course ridiculous. After some initial resistance, the impact of digital technology has in fact transformed activities such as painting, drawing, sculpture and music, while new forms such as net art, digital installation art and virtual reality have become recognised artistic practices. Given the parallels between visual and musical art, it is possible that general acceptance of the value of digital art will eventually progress in much the same way as the increased acceptance of electronically produced music over the last three decades. Is digital art inauthentic? In a sense, yes, as it is a simulation of the hand gesture the artist makes instead of the real thing, and is not as, as I've already said, tangible. I wouldn't go as far to say that digital has the advantage of having more detail, nor would I say that it requires more skill, since any piece of art can be made using traditional and digital means. But I will say that perhaps some traditional techniques have become more rare because of the advancements of digital art. However, because of the advancements of technology, the techniques of preserving traditional paintings using digital techniques has become something vital to many museums, especially when it comes to creating reproductions and replica pieces in order to preserve the memory of the originals that are slowly falling apart due to age. As an artist that does both traditional and digital, I also understand the value of using both. An artist should never have to choose between the two, and an artist should always be willing to explore different creative paths. In other words, an artist should never only rely on one or the other. 
Traditional may be more valuable in both a sentimental and historic sense, and therefore worth more money. Digital art is just as valuable in how it is advancing the art industry as a combination of art and technology, inventing new ways to preserve the past as well as conserve the future. I'm Mad Munchkin. Stay creative.